So it is pretty important to get these ribs cooked before they go onto the well, barbecue. Well, you want something kind of tender and giving. Yeah. Um, basically. Um, now, also, so I can kind of get a bit of blackening all the way around. Okay, I am going to um, chop these in probably twos and threes. And cook them on these indoor barbecues. Fantastic. Kind of handy, but I'm a barbecue all year round person. I'll, you know, even barbecue in the rain and snow. I'd like to eat off wood every day if I could. That is, that's um, bonkers. Right. So I just want to give them the tiniest bit of sunflower oil. Yep. I actually want some bits to blacken. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think you need it. I think that's good barbecuing. Thank you. These actually need um, lots of fiddling, so to yeah. speak. I think people muck around with their barbecues too much, but actually this needs quite a bit of movement to kind of lose. Just keep basting the sauce keep on Keep basting the sauce on. It smells fantastic. Well, I'm very pleased to hear it. Coming from a two-starred Michelin chef, <laughs> that makes me feel happy. Yeah, but I only barbecue burgers in the summer. <laughs> Valentine's ribs need about 15 minutes, so time for Tom to get back to his barbie. His apple side dish is ready to come off, so it's back to his ribs. OK, so the ribs here have been steamed for about an hour, hour and a half. I'm just going to gently take them out. So these are, they're all nice and soft, they're tender. The ribs are ready to be glazed. The maple syrup, apple juice and Worcester sauce have reduced and it's ready for the next stage. Have a taste of that. It's got a wonderful mm. flavour. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? To finish his glaze, Tom adds grated nutmeg and then grated garlic. Why are you doing that bit now rather than kind of adding it before? Well, with it being a syrup, yeah. and a maple syrup, I worry you worry about it burning. Yeah. And the flavour becoming too intense and, and the, the caramelisation. And strange things. Exactly. So we're going to mix that in. Finally, he adds smoked paprika and grates in a Bramley apple. And then we'll mix it completely together so we've got this lovely, rich kind of glaze. Will the apple kind of break down? The apple will break down during cooking and kind of break into the pork. I'm just going to give them a little baste and we're going to get them onto the barbecue. And then we're just going to keep marinating them. These are going to caramelise a little bit like yours, but they'll be a little bit lighter just because the glaze is a little bit lighter. But we're still looking for that caramelisation and we we'll just keep basting Ooh, yeah. and adding that to it. And like yours, it's all about the movement and keeping it moving, People for... keeping that flavour going into but it. But leaving it there for long enough for it to start to hang on. Yeah. But not budging things around so much that yeah. all the sauce exactly, falls off exactly, into exactly, it. exactly, exactly. Whilst Tom's ribs cook, Valentine gets on with his accompaniment. He starts by slicing a red onion, which he blanches in boiling water with peppercorns and a bay leaf before draining. This is a great accompaniment, not only for pork, but it's wonderful with beef and fish as well. So in they go. Orange juice. Orange juice. A lime. This is a Mexican guy. Very, very Mexican. Right, yeah. okay. And you'll get it on top of a lot of tacos with beef. You'll get it with kind of ribs. Um, sometimes you'll get it on fish tacos. Yeah. Um, a little bit of cider vinegar. Um, now, the one thing that's not Mexican is um, marjoram, but I think it goes brilliantly with pork. It's very similar, in a way, to the taste of the um, Mexican oregano. I love marjoram. Is um, it one it's of just such a wonderful herb. OK, now, a little bit of salt. Not too much. Oh, I love that. I so, an that hour, we'll just see them really pink. Yep. Two hours, we'll kind of sunglasses. Really? Yeah. Check those out. They're amazing. And with that, they're ready to serve. I just want a bit of bite, not so it actually falls off the bone. OK. Um, I'm going to just give them one last bit of loving. They look amazing. And it should have a slight <laughs> on the back of the, <laughs> back of the throat. <laughs> so it's broken down, Ooh. all that flavour. So it's going to oh act goodness. as a kind of a sauce and a kind of a garnish. Those look delicious. A little bit more of the Bramley apple, just fresh, clean flavours. Fantastic. So here we go. This is mine. Classic maple and smoked paprika ribs. And this is my classic Mexican chili ribs with pink pickled onions. Beautiful. Beautiful. Time for Tom and Valentine to find out which classic ribs are perfect. Right, OK. Maple and smoked paprika ribs, yeah. one. 
Mexican chili ribs, two. Congratulations, Thank you. well done. The judges enjoyed Tom's British twist on barbecue ribs and thought the flavors worked well. But for them, classic barbecue ribs must have a sticky, smoky sauce, and they loved the spicy hit of Valentine's Mexican ribs.